What's up quarter pounders? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Wave Potter and today I'm going in depth talking about Yayoka's song Utopia. I'm going to be pausing it, talking about every little thing that stands out to me. But this song has a really interesting composition with Billy Sheehan on bass, Yukihide Takiyama on guitar, and of course Yayoka on drums, the whole Kaneya Yayoka family band on the vocals. So let's do this. Pick it down. I'm going to be using Yayoka's live V-Drums performance since I watched the music video in my initial reaction. First of all, you can really tell the difference in the tone and the feel between the regular acoustic drums and then these electronic drums. Now, don't get me wrong, V drums have a great response for electronic drums. They're the best you can get, but it is such a different feel when she's hitting, you know, a rubber hi-hat instead of real cymbals. Same with all the drums. It's a feel that you can't replicate unless you have the actual thing. But V drums do the best, at least for from what I've experienced. Billy Sheehan did not hold back writing an insane bass line for this song. It slides up the chord progression, kind of maintaining the same riff structure, but then on the fourth time, the fourth pass, he completely changes the direction of the riff, really shakes it up, spices it up. He didn't just phone in this performance. He put effort into it and it shows. Right there, you can hear how on the fourth pass, he really changed up that riff, took it from a really cool riff to something really special by shaking it up on that last time around. Oh. These guitars, the funkiness of the guitars, that creamy yet punchy tone that they have, it's so satisfying. And this guitarist does a lot of really cool stuff throughout the song. But another thing to point out is the really interesting drum pattern Yayoka plays on this song with these ghost notes on the snare and this hi-hat pattern. It's almost like a shuffle beat because she's doing a swung pattern on the hi-hat and playing those ghost notes in between. Listen to that. Yeah, this, the hi-hat's going She's playing off of that with the snare ghost notes. Great display of wrist control. Oh, I love that choke with the unison between the hi-hat, the guitar and bass. And then the guitarist does a muted upstroke slide where all the strings are muted except the very bottom one. This is a technique I learned from the Lost Lonely Boys with the song Heaven, because he does that in the middle of the song, but it's just with that funky tone that he's using with the overdrive, it really sounds cool. Just anyway, it's a really cool, fun technique that just adds such a cool feel to wherever you pop it into a song. I love those harmonies. Again, the guitar is letting those chords express, open up, but then doing riffs in between the chords. Once again, Yukihide did not hold back on the guitar. None of these performances were phoned in. They put maximum effort into helping Yayoka and the family make this song as cool as it could be. Oh yeah. Oh, nice Neil Peart style ride to go along with the rhythm of the vocals there. Love the vocals in the chorus. They're so fun and engaging. <laughs> I love Aki's voice when he's really reaching for those high notes. Just such a cool vocal tone he has. I love it. I don't know how you could not smile when this chorus plays. <laughs> Cheeto in the background. <laughs> Call and response. Oh, such. Okay, now here, this guitar lick. Singing 
I love how that guitar lick right there changes up the rhythms so many times throughout, going from on the downbeat to on the offbeat, syncopated. Such a cool display of different techniques right there. Yukihide made such great use of that little gap, that time to shine. I love that. <laughs> Just the amount of effort put into singing those lyrics. So fast paced. I mean, that was rapping, basically. Very impressive tongue twister lyrics right there. Really nice chord, one note at a time strum. Oh yeah. Okay, complete total change up here. The guitars come in more distorted. Yoyoka starts riding the toms for the drum beat, giving it a fresh new feel almost two whole minutes into the song. It's a fresh sound we haven't heard before yet. And the way it comes in with that distorted guitar slide, so good. <laughs> And you can hear Billy playing off of the toms, maintaining that really busy bass riffing in unison with the toms. And Yukihide lets the guitar breathe its wide open chords, providing a nice foundation for the bass and drums to dance around. Okay, I couldn't even dare talk over that, but I'm gonna go back, break down each little section of that drum solo section, cause so many cool techniques in here. Maintaining the regular drum pattern of the song, but spicing it up a little bit, making the hi-hat more straightforward, giving it more of a rock sound, but still that bouncy feel. Then starting to speed it up with that cymbal snare, cymbal snare in a swung feel pattern. And right there, okay, that's one of Yoyoka's really cool signature drum fills. She hits the cymbal, she starts the snare fill with the left hand, she gets one hit in, I think. I think it's just one hit with the right hand, then does another double stroke with the left hand on her way back to the cymbal. So I'll try to do it slow. But way faster and using proper wrist technique, playing off the rebound of the drum head, the drumstick, she just has such a great grasp on proper technique to be able to pull off that fit. Got the Bonzo triplets in there. I gotta hear that in slow motion. I think those are triplets. Very nice. Ending that section with a really cool syncopated fill between the kick, the snare, and the hi-hat. Hi-hat's keeping that steady 4-4 rhythm while the snare is, I think, maybe a triplet feel syncopation around it. And what's the kick drum doing? Everything in that part is bouncing off of each other so well. Both the snare and the kick drum are syncopated compared to the hi-hat that's on the downbeat. Very advanced level fill. Now the way this guitar solo comes in is really cool. Oh. Holy buckets, very interesting note choices. I love how the guitar solo starts a couple bars before the drum solo is over while she's doing that syncopated drum fill. Interesting note choices, just the order the notes are played in, makes them sound so interesting compared to what it could be, you know? Yeah. 
great blend of techniques from those pull off notes into dancing up the neck then doing those big long bends letting the guitar just sing out oh. then really letting the tone of the guitar sing right there just so much soul in those bends the expression of the notes and then doing these i can't tell if it's sweep picking or tapping yeah i think that was some form of tapping that's way too complex for me to figure out but just an amazing conglomerate of talented musicians in this song It's not often that you hear songs with such levels of musicianship, but that are also so fun and cheery like this. You know, can't help but smile when this chorus comes in. Love it. Really cool how the guitar keeps going underneath the solo in this. Oh, awesome. Drum fill the bridge between these two choruses. Nice. So she's keeping the downbeat with the low tom. She's doing double kicks between that. So she's basically playing triplets between the low tom and the kick drum, doing but then playing the snare on the three of every measure. So cool. Very nice. The offbeat ride here. The walking, dancing bass line. Nice. Just an epic ending to the song. Doing those unison chokes again to really bring everything back together before that final note exploding. All the instruments going crazy, but in a way that complements each other. Very nice sound. And I loved the way the bass started dancing around at the very end, like doo -doo 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 -doo. So cool. That was a really cool feel too. I love how she incorporated the ride symbol into that fill. Really interesting. Just listen to that bass though. Needless to say, that's a really impressive project the Soma family put together. I'm still starstruck when I just think about the fact that they've been here and we jammed together. You're probably sick of hearing me talk about it, but I can't believe that I played with them and they collaborated with Billy Sheehan. That's just such a cool thing. And this song is such a treasure to have on their channel, to have on her resume that they made this happen. Thank you so much, Byron, for getting me to listen to this song and take a deeper look at it. It was a lot of fun. Thank you to all of my patrons. I really appreciate you. If you did enjoy this, don't forget to pound like, subscribe, and ring that buddy bell, and go subscribe to Yayoka as well. Go support her work. Also, be sure to check out my week in review video that's coming out tomorrow. I'll actually be filming a wedding, so I won't be in the office. I'll be MIA Friday, but I'll have a Week in Review video scheduled to come out tomorrow. It'll be featuring the artists that I watched on my Wave Potter Discovers channel, as well as the main artists that I watch every week. I'll be sharing my brief thoughts on those songs as well. Just trying it out, seeing how it goes. It's how I'm going to be sharing the new artists that I discover thanks to your requests on the main channel in a bite-sized, easy-to-digest way that people can make time to watch instead of having to watch full 10 minute reaction videos keep an eye out for that week in review and if you would like your own requests you can always join my patreon join my channel membership 
or visit my website. Those are all always linked below. Anyway, that's where I'm going to shut up. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time.